Welcome to today's episode. Today we're continuing working on my uh, Nissan Titan. That's the one I'm about to put the engine in. I'll show you right now. All right, so this Titan I bought has a bad engine. The dude sold it to me, took it apart already. I didn't even know. But um, took the starter out, took a bunch of crap out without, you know, guy tried to rip me off, but I had another whole truck. So um, there's the other engine that's going in here. So stay tuned and see how this is done. Cool. I'm gonna remove the full front end of the vehicle and then, um, you know, get to the, so I can, cause this engine comes out from the front this way. There's ways to take it out differently. Like when you remove the manifolds of the engine and the engine can actually come out the top, but I'll do it all the way, you know, cause uh, I think it's easier than trying to get the manifolds out. That's a pain in the butt, but stay tuned. Watch how this is done. So, this is how the truck looks underneath here. Pretty rusted. Showing you before. Just took the front end off. Not draining all the fluids. The inside looks pretty bad too. So that's the inside, it's dirty. Super dirty. I don't even know why I bought this. I don't even know why I buy half the stuff I buy. Look at this. It's pretty filthy, but this is a before. And then uh, stay tuned for the after, you know? Fixing the Titan up for myself. Might sell it right after, so I don't like rust. So and this thing's pretty rusted. So pretty bad that's not super bad but i just can't deal with this kind of stuff the actual body's not that bad so all right so this is how the engine looks without the intake um, starter's actually mounted right there that spot the guy left the bolts at least which i have anyway but this thing's full of water it's pretty I'm, re I'm replacing the engine on this actually, I guess. If you guys didn't know. No. Sweet. All right, now I'm gonna be removing the whole front of the car. Radiator, all the condenser and stuff. So, stay tuned. All right, got this out. So this is how you take it out. You unbolt everything and it pulls right out with everything on. It's pretty heavy, I got it by myself, but now let's keep working to get this thing out. A lot of work, but gotta get done. Out, out for the All right, update. So I disconnected the harness from the transmission. I took out, there's two bolts. There's one back here and one on this side to hold the transmission to the engine. And there actually, and also the starter bolts hold that. So those are your starter bolts. And these are your engine to trans bolts. They're that long. Also, I gotta take out the Front diff, I disconnected both axles, six bolts, they're 14 mils. 
And then I undid the exhaust yesterday. <clears throat> and I gotta just pull, take out the other bolts around there, drop that transfer case and pull the engine out. I'm waiting on my valve cover gaskets now. <laughs> Put them in. All right, so I got the transfer case out, or not transfer case, the front diff out. This thing is not bad, it's only three big bolts to go across, They're that size. There, there, and back here. The front ones have nuts too, so they spin, so you gotta grab the other side. Now, gotta pull the engine out, because everything else is loose. Took out all the bolts around the engine, I left one. So I to get to this step. And I can pull this joint out. Stay tuned. A little bit of a pain in the butt but it's out trans stayed everything looks pretty good i had to heat up all these bolts because they won't come out without heating them up i'm gonna give it a makeover make it look fresh underneath here gotta replace the brake line right there it's all messed up so uh better do it right there that's easy accessible and get it done the one day you know instead of uh fighting it later on but it's coming along all right so i put some rust preventative on the truck it looks way better still drying doesn't look as rusty anymore you know might as well make it last a little longer you know, but yeah, I'm waiting on the valve cover gasket and motor mounts. I'm just gonna replace them. But put in the engine probably tomorrow. So stay tuned. All right, so this bolt wouldn't come out. I heated it up and came right out. Um, got the motor mounts from AutoZone. So throw the last part number nine five two eight. And now what I'm doing, I'm cleaning the engine inside where the intake goes and all that. And I'm gonna clean off everything. I'm gonna vacuum everything out, blow it out, cover it back up. And so as you can see, you just set apart everything. That's where the intake goes. You know, that's your harness. I double checked the harness was the right one. Is the right one. I checked all the connectors and it's just an easy swap. Well, not that easy, but yep, that's how it's gonna look before. You make a lot of credit. All right, so this is after the cleaning. Looking good. Now I'm gonna plug everything back up cover those holes and try to put this in. Okay, so I like to clean around the transmission. All that, as much as we can get off with one of these. And also through the back of the engine. So that's before. Let me show you after. All right, now that we lubricated, I mean, now that we have the th stuff out, lubricated all the 
threads with any seas. I put it on the bolts, make sure they went in fine. Drained out the turret converter on there. Uh, took it out and then dumped out the fluid. Now, getting ready to put it in. I've had to put a, a new sensor right there. And I retra uh, traced these threads. We're looking good. So stay tuned for the drop in. Just got it up on the hoist. Like I said, grab it from here. And up here, it's easier. And we're gonna put it in here. Got everything ready. You. I put uh, the heater hoses in, I put the battery tray in. This could go back, it's a, uh, it just clicks right in here. Like that. All the electrical stuff, um, I gotta get the intake on. I tighten all the bolts around the engine and the transmission. Tighten up the exhaust bolts. Um, I'm draining the transmission fluid now. And I'm gonna go get some, take some pictures of the Nissan GTR, or the Nissan Skyline. And we're gonna have a good time. Stay tuned. All right, so let's go get them fluids. Taking this beauty. Charge sale, if anybody needs anything. Hi. All right, so I'm taking the R34. This car is fun to drive. Got staples, taste staple gun and stuff. I'm moving, so that's why all this is happening. Ah, it's too much work, man. It's moving. Comment below if you ever moved like I am. So, What's up, buddy? What's up? so this is your what? This your dream car? That's my dream car right here, man. Nice. Yeah, I need something. It like was that. my dream car, for now I have it. And you have it now. Hit up my boy at Nissan. Um, Juan. Juan at, Juan Nissan, at Nissan. Atlantic City Nissan. Got all specials for you. you Not know. an R34, but we got you an R35. We'll you. Yeah, we can get you anything out here. Exactly. So. Yo, babe, what's up? All right, so we're at Ports now and uh, I'm buying some fluid, $13 for this, so. Ah, uh, no, that's cool. It's my boy Carl, come hit him up. Wow! <laughs> Hello, it's my boy. All right, we just got back from picking up the fluids. All right, so I'm about to start it. I just put some fluid in. I connected everything. All the connectors, took down the 
You can take my foot to 10 millimeters each bolt. Cross, 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 you know, the pattern. I teach them other videos if you watch them. Um, but yeah, I just put this here with a filter just so I can run it. So let's see if it starts. All right, so here's the first start up on the truck. All right, so put the front end on, hooked up all the wiring and the hoses, power steering, transmission, all the coolant, everything's done. So I'm just about to put in the front diff, make sure everything lines up right. But it's coming along, almost done. Soon to have another truck soon. Yep. All right, so got the whole front end on. Now, I gotta put the wheels and take it for a drive. 